Sorry, guys. You're wrong on another issue of has there been a shooting there? Laser tag? Yeah, Glendale. Museum? Yeah, Jewish museum. Fuck. Toys R Us. Two dead after shooting in a crowded <laughs> Toys R Us. There been a shooting in Ace Hardware? A woman shoots Ace Hardware employee Damn! while stopping suspect. Damn! This, this is an insane game. game sucks. <laughs> this game's awesome. All right, all right, all right, all right. Ice rink? Zoomies. Three shot dead at Columbia Mall. Two employees of Zoomies. Fuck! God damn it! I was going to say ice rink. I yeah. think I've been in an ice rink shooting. Custody. Oh, this year. Yeah. Wow, Oakland. Build-A-Bear build a bear. shooting. Yep. There's been a Build-A-Bear. Yeah. Really? Yep. Woman shot during hostage standoff at Office Depot. Jewish. Woman identified in deadly shooting at Staples. No jail in Cinnabon roll rage case. <laughs> Criminal mischief and throwing a missile into an octopus. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you're in America, you're getting shot. Stay safe, folks. We'll, we'll see, see you next, next week. Time. <laughs> oh, that was so close to me. Yeah, because Smash cut to me wearing our <laughs> as my pants. <laughs> it looks like I'm just wearing fucking teal parachute pants. Green screen. What do you mean green screen, bro? We're no, in the we're new good. studio. The, the new studio we're for the, the Mark and Joey dude, show. The Mark and Joey show, bro. This Let the it. fucking content commence, bro. Yeah, 100%. I think this is it. I mean, we saw... Just kind of saw how the tides were turning, and we said, we don't need any more minority representation on this podcast. No, it all comes back around, right? Yeah. Like, the whites will be on top. <laughs> and yeah. so, you know, Dawood and Andrew are off doing, you know, successful things, but yeah, one but day- We're in the new studio. Yeah, we're in the new studio, yeah, dog. We're killing it, dude. Yeah, this studio costs $10,000 a month to rent. And, you know, I'm excited about it. Yeah, no, I think it'll be good. Shout out to the patrons for... Uh, yeah, the three patrons for uh, keeping every us Every little afloat. bit counts. It's a, actually a $3,000 a month subscription. It is, yeah. Where you get content when we fucking feel like it, dog. Like the brand new show. The Mark and Joey Show, the ladies Mark and gentlemen. Welcome Joey to the show. show. Come on down. Our first guest Welcome is... Welcome to the show. We forgot to text people the guest on the show. Yeah, like, dude, <laughs> it was so funny. I was watching... I was, uh, Dude, I, like, didn't even... I was watching uh, a movie when you called me. Yeah. And it was a war movie, so I was, like, pretty heavily invested. Right. And then I was like, dude, I'll just... I'll think about it, you know? And I was like, I'll text some people. Yeah. And I hung up that phone... And I have not thought about it till t right now. I really didn't think about it until yeah. you called me today. I thought maybe, but then I was like, yeah, what are we going to yeah. do? You know, what I like is there's a lot of, you know, there was an era where people just did podcasts and they just got popular because there weren't that many of them. Mm -hmm. And now it seems like the trend is more effort, level it up, make it this big YouTube production, almost turn it into a TV show. That's yes. what you see the popular podcast doing. Yeah. I like how we're sticking to podcasting like it's 2009. Yeah. Yeah. Don't put the effort in. No effort, no schedule, no consistent upload, but the S talent is there. Star power is the, the talent the is roof. there. Yeah. You know, you just you just podcast the same format for six and a half years and um, you know, eventually in another four to five years We'll have a clip that pops off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, um, Andrew will leave the podcast. Mm -hmm. You know, we'll over invest then. We'll buy a whole studio. Yep. You know, this is just the new studio. We'll buy a we'll buy a more expensive we'll studio. We'll get a, a fountain of like a Fernet fountain drink for yeah, Dad just to keep him kind of sick, invested dude. so that he can drink it whenever he's on one of his drinking binges that then turns into a sobriety binge that then yeah, turns back. Yeah. But hear me out. The cooler is like the trunk is like a shaped like a back of a trunk. Oh. You know, so you pop it open. And he's like, oh, the drinks are in his trunk. That's kind of tight. That yeah, is kind of tight, right? That'd be right? cool. So there's just like a fucking like the back of a Tercel in our studio. Ooh, Tercel's just like, kind of yeah. backed up. Yeah, 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 like yeah. grandma got off her meds yeah, and fucking yeah, yeah. blasted it through. Yeah, and you think it's like, what the fuck? Oh, dude, that's sick, yeah, bro. Yeah, I'm liking yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Yeah, and then for, coming along. For Andrew, it's going to be like some sort of Jordan sneaker. Um, no, Andrew, Andrew needs like, Andrew's just actually going to need his 
own like play area. So like there will just be like deconstructed like tables for him to build. Yeah, and it's like, it's like, like adult a shoe Legos. that's like that the colorway is off a little bit. Yeah, so he's got to like fix it. Yeah, but we'll leave the colors out for him so he knows. You just got to go between the lines. Yeah, I feel like Andrew would like really just be happy finger painting sometimes. A hundred percent. You know, like while we're doing tasks. I think there's a tactile nature of that that is soothing. Yeah, I think that for sure. What would yours be? I'm just here to work. I uh, see. Mine yeah, would be like, a, like you know how they have like petri dishes oh, full yeah. of like candies. Yeah, mine's gonna be full of teeth. That oh I can yeah, just kinda so like you can just pop them in. Pop in, pop in a tooth. You know, up ah, lost a molar yesterday. That's great. Good thing we're podcasting. I'm gonna pop in a tooth. Yeah, I think mine would be like a, a mini gym, but all the water fountains are a hard seltzer, so I can maintain Sick. the perfect physique of like, well, that guy works out, but his diet's clearly not there. Yeah, like you know, I feel like if you were the kid in Blank Check, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> uh, you ever see that movie? Is that the Aaron Carter one? Aaron Carter one. I'm, I'm no, I think that's Richie up. Rich. Blank check was this movie about a kid who gets like a blank check and he yeah. makes it out for like a million dollars and then he spends like four million. But, uh, you know, they, it's like, how did he get all this for a million dollars? Yeah. So, like buys like a 30 million dollar mansion. It's just funny. Yeah. But yeah. So like and he's got like a water slide in his house. What I was going to say was I feel like if you got that, your house would look the same as his. Yeah. I think so. I'd like to have like a water I'd slide. I'd like to have a very fun house. I feel like you would be always riding around in one of those like tricycle things. Those yeah. like low to the ground. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like saw. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Like jigsaw. You would yeah. definitely be doing Dude. that. Going from room to like room. A- there's like a well, you could take the hallway, but we also have a zip line. Yeah. Exactly, yeah, bro. Yeah, Dude, yeah, your yeah. house. Would be Blank Check's house, bro. Yeah, that'd be sick. Now, do you think you can... It seems like if you want to have a really fun house, you don't and you don't have kids, right? Like, it's usually, like, this rich guy, and he does all this. He's got a crazy thing. He's got, like, a fucking wrestling ring and all this. And he throws Michael Jackson? Or whatever. And that's the thing. <laughs> it's like, why you got all these toys? You know what I mean? <laughs> But if you have kids of your own, I just think that all of the whimsy in your life is is sucked straight out of you and has to go into like a couple holiday seasons for the kids. Um, like I can't be like building a zip line with my you know fucking child. You know, his webbed feet we have to snip off. I don't know. I'm trying to think of a what medical. Is I'm trying to think of a medical thing that would wouldn't offend anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Wait, what? <laughs> you think you have to cut off webbed feet? Well, you got to at least snip the web. No, right? dude. Did you just get to keep that? You no. can't snip the web. But you can't keep it. No, that's like pulling a mole out, bro. That's how you get cancer, dude. So what do you have to just become a if really you, fast swimmer? Yeah. You just like, have to join the Olympics? Yeah. How do you think superheroes are made, dude? Right. Webbed feet. Is that a, is that a real thing? I think people have webbed feet. Yeah, I feel like that too, but I feel like you don't snip them. Yeah, I don't know. I'll have to check Webfeet MD. <laughs> now, do you think you get a high rating for Webfeet on Wikifeet? Uh, it's I think it's too niche. You know what I mean? It's just I think it's just too niche. If you obviously there are some people that'll be excited by it. Like I think that the people who love it will be the most excited people on Wikifeet. But I just think that the average uh, wiki foot fetishist already is in their fetish, <coughs> which is just feet. <laughs> oh, my God. That's horrifying, dude. Wait. Oh, wow. Oh, golly. Oh, yeah. Jesus. That's tough. Fucking, you got to snip that shit, bro. You got to snip it, bro, dude. You got to. You and if be... I got to pay for my child's webbed foot surgery, I can't put in the zip line. Yeah, bro. I don't know. You got to fucking. You got to cut those Siamese toes in half. Yeah. Yeah. If my child was born with that, I'd be like, you were born without a leg? I had to cut the whole thing off. Yeah. I wonder when technology is going to be advanced enough to where we can start cutting Siamese twins in half. Yeah. It's a good question. You know? (laughs) Yeah. Or like fusing them into one person. Yeah. Well, well, so they're like one super person. Yeah. Uh that just like they're so you just smash their heads together like 
whenever you got that first, you know, that like photo booth trick where it splits your face yeah. and you try and like line it up yeah. and it's like, well, it's not quite a person. Yeah. It's like yeah. that. Imagine yeah. that just walking into your house. You'd be staring at it the it's whole time. It's a lot time. of fucking likes on Instagram. That's for damn sure, dog. That is, yeah, it is like uh, people used to look at oddness in a negative way and now it's like a, it's a great way to gain followers. Yeah, but I don't think that's, I don't think that's, I think that's always been the case. It's a freak show. That is true. It's a traveling freak but show, I think, bro. But I think people used to look at the, you know, the bearded lady and the, the little carnies and they, with a bit of scorn. And I think people genuinely. Oh, people don't look at bearded ladies with a bit of scorn still? <laughs> yeah, and not at all. <laughs> They're heroes. <laughs> <laughs> Very true. Very I, true. I think, but like, I think that when people watch like the Siamese twin show, you know what you, happened to Siamese you twins? You turn it on and you go, ugh. But then after a while, you're like, oh my god, I can't believe you yeah. know Abby uh, said that. You know, didn't I don't, I don't know what their fucking issues were. I didn't watch it. Not a big Siamese twin fan, huh? I in my when I was in high school, the girl I was dating watched a lot of reality. Oh my TV. god, I was, thought you were about to say the girl I was dating was a Siamese <laughs> twin, <laughs> but her sister was a bitch and she <laughs> wouldn't leave us alone. Yeah, <laughs> was it the left one or the right one? <laughs> Imagine you just figuring this chick and the other one's trying to read a book, dude. I'm, I mean, it's it's everyone's, I went question. Com- it's everyone's question. I went a completely different. Like, does it count as the tray? I don't know, dude. I don't know if I could fuck a Siamese twin looking like uh, a bad guy from Resident Evil. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't, I don't need the thing that comes out of the walls. You'd really have to, like, you'd, it'd have to be both of them. You'd be kind of sitting on the couch and be like, ladies, uh, maybe, can I get some heads tonight? <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit, dog. <laughs> Could I get a couple of hands? You know what? You know what's funny was um, I was like, "Damn, dude, four hands!" But they only have two hands, right? Right. I think that's one of their key key issues. Right. (coughs) It comes in a variety of of so left side, right side type shit. Left side. We gotta watch the show, dude. I actually don't know how it works right now, dog. I'm looking up Siamese twins right now. Chat. If you're in chat right now, can you <laughs> can you um look up Siamese Feeling twins? Stream vibes right now. Yeah, we should stream the Mark and Joey show. Conjoined twins is what they're called. Siamese has got to be. That's got to be not cool. That's got to be racist. Yeah, yeah I can't. That's got to be. Look at these Chinese twins. All these. Yeah, everyone was just. There's got to. What does Siamese mean? It, uh, From. I don't know. It, it's probably like. Probably like a country that they're it was like making fun of, right? You know what I'm saying? Like they're what's like, yeah, they're probably that, from what's in that country? Siam, dude. What's going on over there? They just have babies in backpacks, kind of thing. So there aren't, there aren't that many Siamese twins anymore. Of course not. Why not? I I mean, is it did their well, population cor- go down? I just I think it's always been a rarity. Y- yeah. Did it say the population went down or just that it's very rare? I just, I once said, um, as of 2022, they are the world's oldest living. Cause, oh, never mind. Yeah, these bitches are like woolly mammoths, dude. Oh, here we go. What happens to Siamese twins when one dies? Most awkward funeral ever. They die. Oh, both of them? <laughs> yeah, they die. That's, That's kind of fucked. beautiful. Yeah. Well, yeah. God, that's horrifying, bro. Can Siamese twins go to jail? (laughs) I bet they can. If one twin tried to stab someone, the other might be expected to grab his arm or drag both of them to the ground. The penalty for failing to rescue is usually a fine, though some jurisdictions allow for up to a year in Prison. This thing is beating around the bush. If one of them gets thrown in jail, you can't take the other one. Yeah, that's the other one just has yeah. to post up. Yeah, that would suck. Although the other one is at least an accomplice. 
Like for sure. It's not like they were not, you know, they were minding their own business. Yeah, hundred percent. Like it's your brain too, so they can't be that different of people. If you had had a kid and they were like, It's gonna be a Siamese twin, would you be like, All right, let's fucking roll with it? Um it, would it be Siamese boys or girls? It's a go it's a what would you prefer? Uh I'm killing them both. <laughs> Eh, fuck it. <laughs> but to be fair, if it was gonna be a kid, I would kill it. So right, you yeah. don't want to have a baby. No. So to be fair, I'm murdering that baby. Yeah. Before it's technically a baby in whatever state I'm in, dude. Dad Mark would actually be pretty fucking great. Dad Mark, yeah. I I'm nervous about Dad Mark. I don't know if I could do it. I think everyone's. I think everyone, even people who want to do it, are nervous. About yeah, it. but like, I I don't know if I would like my kid. <laughs> That's well, yeah. That's I have a whole joke about that. It's a deep fear. Yeah, so it's like it would suck. And then if you don't like your kid, then your kid's like wandering around to every therapist in mm -hmm. town, being like, "My dad didn't love me." And you're like, <laughs> in the waiting room, going, "Yeah, I don't love my kid. Mm -hmm. Can I get some fucking help? I'm stuck with this little fucking dweeb all the time." Yeah, I think it's more bad for the parents too, you know, because it's like, you know, they got to pay for their mistake. Yeah, so I, I I don't want to do that, dude. I don't want to pay for my mistake. Yeah, and the kid just hates everything. But then when it breaks free, you can be like, "Fuck my dad," and be like a popular artist or something. Yeah. So like that's Eminem the kinda? that's like kind of the thing. It's like I feel like the fact that I wouldn't love my kid um, would make him successful. Hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. So that would help. Or what if your kid was just cool as hell? And, and then, then I'm the, and the, more like, what if he doesn't love me then? Well, that wouldn't make him very cool now, would it? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but not like, loving my cool but dad. But that's an even bigger fear is like, what happens if my kid doesn't love me, dog? Your kid's just big leaguing you? Yeah, he's just like, You're like yeah. at the park, like, don't you want to play? You're, yeah, you're like, my kid won't play catch with me. Yeah, but that, I mean, that shit happens, you know, when you're like 14, 15. Like. Of course, everyone in that, in that phase is too cool for your parents, but that's because you're trying to do cool shit and your parents aren't exactly down with you smoking and fucking. And if they are, they're the weirdest people parents in town yeah they're not and every parents. town has those parents they're not good parents my hometown had a had a run of apparently this like this way after my time but there was like a ring like these parents got felonies because they were like having kids over and like encouraging the kids to like have sex with their boys it was fucked up probably a few good parties though on the way <laughs> dude yeah what tight parents? You know what I mean, dude. Yeah. They're, uh, what's your parents do? Oh, uh, they're madams for my sex, my <laughs> sexual preferences. They're wing people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they have webbed feet. No, 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 no. Not wing, not winged feet. Wing man. Not webbed woman. people. Winged people. Yeah. It's a. It's. It all starts out. It is like. Oh, uh, you like. I always read those stories. I always click the story. I'm like. Sounds kind of, this can't be that bad. And then you get a few paragraphs in and you, you start reading about a few allegations that it really would bog down the podcast. We don't have to get into it, but so okay. it's, yeah, it ends up not. Oh, being great. so it was like a major. Well, it was just kind of like if you're pumping uh, high school semen. age kids full of <laughs> semen, <laughs> uh, which is good for you. Uh, yeah. No, they were like getting them drunk. And then there was an issue where like one of the kids was showing up drunk to school and then some of the girls young girls were saying that some inappropriate well the the mom is pressuring these girls to hook up with their sons when they're drunk that's you can't do that yeah that's not cool yeah there's a level of cool parent that's not it i guess that's illegal you don't really even want to be the cool parent because you want to be the parent that your kid realizes is cool eventually. No, I want my my kid to be in the moment afraid of me. Yeah, yeah you yeah, know, yeah, like yeah. I don't want to be the cool guy. Right. I want him to respect me. Fear you through fear. Yeah. You know, not You're physical. You're like fucking Slender Man, just yeah. scrawny as fuck. <laughs> yeah, dad dude. just creeping around the house. My dad's a he horror your, movie. He sees, yeah, he sees your shadow on the wall. It looks like Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just come home blaring the fucking the uh, Michael Myers theme song and shit. <laughs> yeah. It is funny to like, I think I've said this on the pod before, though, but it it was like uh, I would always see my dad pull up mm -hmm. to the house, mm -hmm. just like blaring music yeah. and, and like really and he would always like sit in his car for a while. And I, I was always like, what the fuck is he doing in there? 
Yeah, he's and, enjoying his last few moments yes, of fucking it, peace. Yeah, and it finally like hit me like I went, I was just like, Oh yeah, this is what this is. Yeah. I don't know exactly what he's doing, yeah. dude. Yeah. He's like, he was <laughs> just sitting there going, This is gonna suck. Yeah. <laughs> This is gonna suck. Yeah, yeah. It is crazy because it's another always like night, every- another night with a family I don't want. Yeah, you know, it's tough. And then they're always like, "It's the greatest decision I've ever made." Yes, C- yeah. couldn't have it any other way. You know, and then but like, in the moment, you're I just love like, you, kids. You know, yeah. but in the moment, he's like, I'd "I really love it don't." If you'd shut the fuck up, yeah. too. and don't talk to me. Yeah, don't look at me. Yeah, I just got off work. This is just, I feel like that's the thing in life is like either you can choose to be around people uh, and eventually get sick of them, family, friends, mm-hmm. coworkers, or you can choose to be alone and get sick of yourself and hate that as well. Yeah. I think and he probably errs on the latter side. He'd rather be alone, you think? So you want yeah. a nice balance. My dad yeah. traveled a ton for work and... Uh, he pitched it as a sacrifice, but I think it was a uh, design. Oh, absolutely by design. My yeah. dad traveled a shit ton for work. My dad was always on the road. Yeah. He's and like, oh, I got What type f- of assholes would pick a job where they're always on the road? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. For like conferences that like when you grow up, you realize like uh, Chicago this weekend, uh, November uh, <laughs> 10th, uh, Appleton the 14th. <laughs> yeah. And like you don't need to be there. Unless you want to be there. Yeah. You know? And it, I th- it's really like... I am sick of uh, of uh, people like taking the life they fucking chose and then acting like it's an imposition on themselves. Absolutely. I've been really trying to smell the roses a little bit more recently. I have too. Because I've always lived by that, that rule of thumb of like never be satisfied where you're at. Always ha- act ungrateful. That way better things will come. But I don't think <laughs> that's... I didn't realize that was your philosophy. <laughs> yeah, that's my M.O. <laughs> I don't know if I realized it. It just kind of came spilling. I mean, I, I think that, yeah, complacency uh, can can ruin your life if you have dreams. But um, gratitude for where you're at in your journey does not necessarily uh, get in the way of success. <laughs> but I've been I have been kind of the same. I've been like recently like kind of like upset at myself for just being like, God, I have a fucking show tonight or yeah. like which I didn't used to be like as much. And so I was just, I just, it was just something that I caught and I was like, I just need to change my perspective. Like I was like everything I was going to do. And even though I was doing it, just being like, fuck, I got to go to the gym or fuck, I got to go do this show or I got to. And then finally I was just like, what are you fucking doing, dude? This is what you chose. Yeah. And the flip side doesn't make anyone any happier. Sitting around and just fucking posting up uh, breeds great depression and anxiety. So you got to change your mindset sometimes. I don't know how you do that, but even just saying it, deciding to do it, having an attitude of gratitude. Mushroom tea, bro. Mushroom, dude. Mushroom tea. Mushroom coffee. And then, um, you know, ramble about the Jews or whatever. 100%. Yeah. Yeah. Pick up some shrooms and just get loose on the (laughs) the the, Twitter. On the chosen people. On the old Twitter. And then, uh, (laughs) yeah, bang out out some World War I, World War II tweets. It's what you were saying shirt, earlier. Bro. Everything comes was back around. To World War One and World War II? Just everything comes back, and this was one of my things about Kanye, is like he's a fashion designer. He knows how to bring styles back. Yeah, I didn't think he was going to bring back baggy <laughs> no, pants. No, that's funny. He brought back hating the Jews. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. This guy yeah. starts trends. And, and you are know they what? good? People are going to be like, what is this? And then like two years from now, could be in style. Could be in style. So it's kind of like a warning to come. Yeah. Yeah, I never really thought about it like that. That's 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 funny, but also very dangerous. Yeah. Yeah. Everything comes back. I think it's all it's also weird. I don't know. Just the the thing that I keep thinking about with the whole Kanye thing is it's like we've just entered this age where there's just you could say anything and at least a high percentage of people will be like, he is right. Mm hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, it's very rare that people are like, well, there weren't some good points in that. And so if you say something and most people say, well, you might have a point here, but what you're saying is dangerous and you shouldn't say it. There's just going to be a massive backlash of other people being like, yeah, but you're not listening. And this is what he's saying. And that's why he's right. And you're wrong. Yes. And that's because there's always going to be two sides, right? Right. There's never going to be, nothing ever is going to be 
one-sided. So, yeah, inherently, he can say whatever the fuck he wants, and there will be some population. And he's a highly intelligent person, regardless of what he uses it for. So he, you know, people people listen. Yeah, yeah. I agree with him. <laughs> <laughs> you know? <laughs> I listen to the Lex Friedman, and uh, it, it is kind of hard to, um, to like, he does talk in circles a little bit. Yeah, I, I have to be honest. My main takeaway from that podcast, and I listened to it too, was this guy just feels like a tough hang. Yeah. You know, like, like, set all the points aside, like... I, like you he's know those just seems so annoying. You know those like types of people that always have to disagree with you. Yeah, you know. And to the shit that he said, he was like, "I'm the second greatest writer of all time." Right after who? We all know Shakespeare, and it's like you're not the second greatest. And, and yeah. he's like sitting like Lex says something, and he's like writing it down. He's like, "I'm gonna say it, and I'm gonna build these." sanctuaries for people to live and it's just like that shit that shit's not as concerning to me as when he answers a question in a circle of like uh, like basically like not comprehending what the question was or just like diverting yeah like he he's Lex is trying to make a point about the Holocaust being a negative thing that happened to Jews. And he was like, what about abortion? Yeah. And it's like, yeah, regardless of attacking that point straight on, let's actually go back to the first point that was important to discuss. If you just, and it's a, it's a actually a hilarious issue to do that with dude. Like if you really want to change, if you really want to fucking throw a conversation in a different direction, Answer any question with that. What about abortion? Yeah. Yeah. Well, what about abortion? What do you want to get? What do you, What do you want to get to eat today? Well, what do you think about abortion? Yeah, I don't and know. Now we're talking yeah. about that. Yeah. Well, we don't spend enough quality time together. Yeah. Well, what well, you, What about abortion? Yeah. What about those fetuses who don't get to spend a lot what of quality, quality time, time on this earth with their mothers? That's right. I. It's just one of those people where they're just, just their like whole thing is. Um, Imagine just trying to kick it. They're them. just not going to agree with you. Like, you yeah. can never get through to them. They're sociopaths. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just they've made up their mind. They can tolerate, but they will never absorb. Yeah. I, and I, and I've, like I I've experienced, like, pieces of that. Like, I've never been a sociopath, but, like, I've just been in stages where just, like, people are bringing up some political thing, and it was just, it was just like, oh, yeah, well, what Yeah, about, brick wall to anything you're this? saying. Yeah, brick wall to anything you're saying. Which I'll it's also a, just do if people are being annoying. Yeah, it's the type of person that you're like, damn, the sky's pretty blue. And then they're like, nah, it's pretty gray out. You're like, yeah, you're right, it is pretty gray. And, you're like, and they're like, yeah, well, it's kind of blue, though. And you're like, you're like oh, I'm I can't. fucking kill you. Yeah, I can't. Yeah. Yeah, I was watching that and I was like, I see why he uh, got divorced. Imagine that guy just hanging out at your fucking house all day. Just mm. trying to do anything, dude. Imagine yeah. just, you want to watch a show, you want to watch a game, you want to fucking chill, and everything is this, this. Uh, it's his duty to bring mankind into the next generation. It's like, it's literally not. I mean, all that shit is just like manic. Yeah. That's just manic speak. Yeah. Which, you know, genius comes from that. Yeah, I mean... That's, he's not manic, but like he's, he's very definitely like he's, manic. No, no, I'm saying I, I was gonna say Elon is not Elon Musk is not manic, but a lot of his like things. And granted, he's smarter than Kanye, uh, certainly. Yeah. Uh, not at music, he, you know, he's not as cool, but like at least as an inch, blah blah blah. It's the same type of thing where it's just his brain is going a thousand miles a second, and it's like we're gonna do this thing, we're gonna do that thing. It's about bringing humanity onto the next thing, but also weirdly, it's completely about me. Yeah, sociopath, yeah. narcissist. Dude, we should start inventing shit. You know what I mean? Dude, we I'm, actually did on the last podcast. Yeah, I was gonna say like three way socks. <laughs> yeah, that actually is true, and I think that would bring <laughs> humanity into the next dimension. I guarantee you, Elon's manic. I guarantee you, Elon's manic. We just haven't. I mean, you've seen some of the tweets he's fired off. Those just don't come from like a person who's in a relaxed state. Yeah, those come from people that are in like a manic state. I'd love to see if we could track amount of tweets per day as a metric of uh, identifying mental breakdowns. 
Oh, more you like could ab- episodes. You, you I could think it's, absolutely. Anytime you see seven tweets in a row from yeah. someone, I, 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 people in, in my life who've had issues, it's like it always starts with like, uh, uh oh, they just updated their LinkedIn job to oh, something really? they don't do. Whoa, really? What's that like? I've never been on LinkedIn, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> I think I have a profile. People I get, being I like, get like constant emails saying like. This person, this person viewed your profile. This person wants to connect with you. Yeah, it's weird. I know. I'm like, I don't even know how to log in. It's weird, but it's like it. It just starts with grand statements. It's them being like, I'm, you know, I'm no longer at my company. I'm the CEO of Joey Industries, you know. And it's like shit that's not gonna happen. Uh-oh. But it feels like a good time at the time. It's it's like what people say about when people do coke, and it's like I got all these good ideas. I, I like think that- the same thing. It's just up, and yeah. then you go down. Yeah, coke but- is. I actually do think that. Uh, getting fucked up has really increased my ability to understand uh, mental illness. Because when you, like, if you have a really hard party night and then the next day you wake up and you're like, oh, so this is a small capsule of what deep depression and anxiety yes, is. Yes. I just made it for myself. Yes, 100%. I hate everyone and everything. I want to die. It doesn't feel possible to do anything. And yes. also I'm nervous about the things I have to do, even though I'm not going to do them. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, getting wait, fucked wait, up wait, is maybe an wait, empathetic wait, 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 wait. man. Did you just fucking, you just explained my whole life to me. <laughs> That's just my Sundays. Dude. <laughs> that's me every day, bro. Now imagine living with that every fucking day, dude. That sounds insane. Yeah, it's dude. it's you didn't rough. Even get to get fucked up before. No, dog. Yeah. So it's like, where is it coming from? You that's, know? That is brutal. That's well. wild, bro. Yeah. Damn, so you don't have to deal with that? Uh I I I actually do, but uh yeah, but when less. I'm hu- when I'm like it's accelerated. When I've like gotten after it, it's like it, yeah. it hits different. But there's I think there's a level of That was like when Daiwu called me after after Dizen for like the first time. Oh yeah. And he's like, I'm so sad. <laughs> I was like, why is, is this normal? I'm like, Yeah, bro, you're gonna be fine. He's like, dude, I'm like depressed. Yeah, see, people don't understand that the really smart way if you're going to get into that life is you got to taper off. So if you're going to mm-hmm. party hard and you're doing whatever, then the next day, Sunday, you do a little soft landing, a couple of drinks, you know? Then Monday, you hate yourself, maybe a glass of wine. Then Tuesday, you can fucking chill. People just... Yeah, people off. like do like go hard, and then they're like, "I'm not drinking for a week." Yeah, you know, and then uh, and yeah. then people get addicted to you. Get really addicted to I'm not drinking, uh, and so then you want to you like you just want to tell everyone I feel so good, and I'm not drinking, and uh, then you get addicted to that, and then it's just you know it's tough because I do think it's better to not drink, but people who don't like to have fun just you know that's no good either. You know, you know that. what they say, Joey. Huh. Anything is good in moderation, including webbed feet. That's right. <laughs> give me two to three toes. Yeah, that's okay. Just a few. That's okay. Don't give me a whole fucking we flipper. Can work on circumcising your ring toe from the middle one. Got to circumcise the foot sometimes, dude. I don't want that fucking skin <laughs> flap on there, dog. <laughs> I don't give a fuck if it's not as sensitive. <laughs> Cut those fucking feet apart, you I fucking freak. I just love my pinky toe web because it's so much more sensitive. Ugh. Ugh. Yuck. Ugh. Get do it away from do me. Do you like feet at all? Did I, mean, I like as, feet? As like a sexual thing. No. Yeah, I mean, yeah. You know I don't like feet, bro. Oh, yeah, that's right. What the fuck are you <laughs> talking about, bro? I fucking hate feet, dog. <laughs> I hate feet, bro. Ugh. Get them away. Don't fucking yuck. Yeah, they're pretty gross. But I think that's what people like. People will want to feel naughtiness, you know? Yeah, when I did Tiger Belly, I was wearing, I made the mistake of wearing sandals because I was in Hawaii, bro. You yeah. Know? I was like wearing flops. Yeah. Some slides, some Glendale yeah. slides. The Glendale Garys. Yeah. The, the Buddy Bro specials. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. And then like, uh, they, feet was, they start, they, they, they start talking, Bobby and Cloud are like talking about my feet. And then they're like, Oh, they look like so soft or something. And they're like, yeah, can I touch your feet? And then they're like, this is like your nightmare. Oh, it was my fucking nightmare. This was like first two minutes into the pod. I'm like, what is happening right yeah. now? Yeah, it was. Yeah, that's funny. So I had never met Bobby, Bobby Lee, 
until my show at the store on Saturday. Yeah, that was funny. He dude. came in and he started in tears. He just doesn't know who I am. I'm wearing like a shiny teal sharks jacket, mm-hmm. you know, and he's like, the fuck is this? And he's like, you from San Jose? And I'm like, yeah, I came up with like Mark, who, who you know. And he's like, you don't know Mark Smalls. And I'm like, yeah, I do. I do a podcast with him. He's like, you're lying to me. So, of course, he calls Mark. And the second it starts. I just get a call. I'm the streaming. The second it starts ringing, I go, oh, goodness. <laughs> I go, oh, I go, he, this is not. And, of course, right when you pick up, he's like, do you know Joey Avery? And you're just like, hmm. Is, that ri- is he Indian? <laughs> I just go, I go, never heard of him. And then he forced never me to call guy. you, and I go, there's no way he's picking up. And so then for like a, I had a 45 minute interrogation of like who I was. I finally, I finally gathered him, but it was, uh, it was classic. I, I, right when it was ringing, I was like, Mark is on the ball, and he's going to fuck me. Oh, immediately. dog. I, I am always on the ball, bro. <laughs> I am always in for the bit, dude. I just get that call. I'm like, Bobby Lee. I was like, what the fuck is this? Yeah. It is too late for him to be calling me when I know he's not playing Call of Duty. Yeah, no, he was on a mission. It was fun, though. It's a good time. Yeah, good dude. We had a lovely time that Saturday. We went out. We got ramen. We ha- all had issues with the ordering screen. You, uh, you know what, ordered dude? gluten-free I, noodles. I'm actually- my egg was removed but then brought back. Yeah, you know what? I actually don't like that place. Okay. Yeah, I've finally come to the conclusion. And it's just one of those places that it's convenient, it's hip enough, and most people go to it, so yeah. you think it's good, Yeah. but it's actually not good. Oh, you think that the quality of, like, the experience, I don't really love how they do it at all, but you think the quality of ramen is, is bad. Yeah, I think it's bad. That's interesting. I think uh, I think my wife would agree with you because she, like, woke up in the middle of the night and cited stomach issues due to ramen. Oh, really? That she was not uh, pleased with it. Yeah, it's not good. Yeah. I've had it multiple times, and every time I'm like, this isn't just that good, bro. Yeah. But it's nice. It's open late. I was going to say, for two, for 1.30 a.m., it was pretty great. <laughs> Fuck, I'm hungry. Oh, it's only 5.30. Dude, since when is it? Fucking stormy as hell out here. I don't fucking know. It's dude. stormy as hell. It gets I, dark. It's it's all spooky. I want to do this is just, town feels haunted, dude. All I want to do is just sit in my house. Yeah. Turn off my phone yeah. and not talk to anybody uh-huh. for three and a half weeks. Three and a half weeks. Are yes. you like the groundhog? Yeah. Dude. And then we're not gonna see you until spring, dude. Just give me like a two week hibernation. Yeah. From everything. Yeah. Just like a sabbatical. You know, is yeah. that is that too much to ask? What do you think it would feel like? I think it would feel re-energizing. You think so? To go off into the woods for fucking two weeks. And just set and it just, all down. And just set it all down. Don't fuck. You can't get a hold of me. Yeah. I can't get a hold of shit. This is the way I think about that, though, is I feel like I would be like, this is when I need to, like, write my fucking manifesto before you go on a school shooting. (laughs) Yeah, you got to. And that's actually the hardest part about being a mass murderer is to find the time to write. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) It really is tough. I mean, you're so busy. You're planning. You're making vests. You're making pipe bombs. And you don't want to. When am I going to sit down and write? You yeah, know? And, and you don't want to like do a hack thing, so you got you got to do like a new idea. You're and, like and people you're, have done the sniper, they've done the clock tower. Yes, schools are played out. Synagogues is like yuck. You get like, a little creatively strapped. So like, where could a we? Great, s- a great book. There's a book called The War of Art by Stephen Pressfield, and it's all about finding the muse. And if you're having trouble writing your manifesto, and it's just not getting done. I'd say I recommend that. Yeah, it'll really help. Do you think, um, like, where would, it, like, a cool place uh, for a shooting to happen? Froyo. Oh. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, there hasn't been, like, a Froyo. There has not been Let's a Froyo. Let's actually look that up, <laughs> yeah, actually. Yeah. This is a I fun really game. Hope, I really hope there's This not, is a dude. fun has there been? Has there? It's been in Florida. I'll tell you that, that for that sure. Would be if where it, it is, is it w- happened, there has been a it, frozen. It would have been. It's yeah. It was like I, I, it was just like a fat white woman who was mad it wasn't ice cream. Yep. <laughs> so she shot the whole place up because it was a non dairy treat. A hundred percent frozen yogurt shooting. Uh, nineteen ninety one Austin yogurt shop killings. Oh no. 
The Austin 1991 Here's Yogurt first. Shop killings are an unsolved quadruple homicide, which took place at an... What the fuck, bro? Jesus Christ. Which took place at a... I can't believe it's yogurt shop <laughs> in Austin, Texas. Sorry, guys. <laughs> You're wrong on another issue of has there been a shooting there? His calling card was little gummy worms. <laughs> <laughs> the frozen yogurt killer's on the loose. Yeah, dude. Rainbow <laughs> sprinkles everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> this was non-dairy. This came Was it racially motivated? No, he killed people of both races. Uh, yes. Guess he was in for a swirl. <laughs> <laughs> Some call him the Neapolitan killer. <laughs> <laughs> he a kills black, white, a white, and a native. <laughs> <laughs> white, blacks, and pinks. <laughs> it's just a sunburnt ginger. Yeah, just that white or white. Oh goodness! <laughs> Damn, that's crazy, bro. Unknown. Um, yeah. So yeah, that's people need to stop doing. That's that. it. That's it. People got to cut that shit out. Dude, this is like a peeves. famous thing, actually. Really? Yeah, yeah, bro. It sounds like it was not a mass. It seems like it was like uh Well, that, well but that I, was the a, question. It, yeah, yeah. That was the question? Yeah, You're no. It, it, Let it, me take a guess at this. Well, I just want to know kind of what happened. Yeah, you take Oh, you want to know no, what you, you, you want to know the haps? No, no, no. You want to know the haps? Let me tell you the haps. Um victims were four teenage girls, 13, 17, 17 and 15. Oh, employees that's of the shop. Oh, um, sounds like someone didn't get their refund. Oh, that's horrible. Someone just came in and murked a bunch of young girls working at tending a froyo. That's not the 1991 I remember. Damn, that's fucked. That's horrible. Someone raped. They were all shot and killed. What? Never, never, never uh, solved. He did that to them in a Froyo shop? Yeah, they said there was multiple killers. Oh, my God. Yeah. And those were the founders of Cold Stone Creamery who brought back... (laughs) All right. Oh, my bad. I'm just reading. Yeah, the... I was like, this is a two-man pod. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, fucking I made keep a, it going, I made You it, can't keep talking. Well, I made an insensitive joke, and you didn't even hear it. Oh, I didn't and then hear the insensitive dead joke. Dead silence. <laughs> I was sick. Dead silence. I was sick. I go, it was the founders of Cold Stone Creamery bringing back ice cream, and you were just reading. It went into the void. Yeah, that's my bad. Uh, all right, your turn to play. All right, frozen yogurt. Okay, schools are done, synagogues. Fuck, this is hard, Yeah, bro. this is not a great sign for the country. Yeah, not a great sign, but... Um, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I just hmm. came up with a funny one, bro. Laser tag. <laughs> and everyone would feel like they were equipped. Like <laughs> I guarantee there's... Yeah, laser been, tags yeah. for sure happen, because there's too many... Too many weird kids in there with trench coats. Uh, yeah, who, like, nah, who, like, know the fucking there's definitely territory. Been laser tag shootings. Yeah, A museum. That seems like it's gotta happen. It's gotta been happened, right? Um, Are you looking at museum or laser tag? Uh yeah, the, a laser tag, one hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, Glendale, twenty nineteen. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But that was a robbery, shooting yeah, and robbery. Same thing though. Yeah. Yeah, Jewish Museum shot up. Fuck. All yeah. right. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. All right, All right shooters. Hold on. All right, shooters. Now, I don't think we can go too specific because I wanted to say, like, Toys R Us, but we can't do, like, There's definitely been a Toys R Us shooting. Yeah, probably. 100%. But let's find but out. Let's find out. <laughs> <laughs> let's find it's out. It's now defunct. Toys R Us shooting. Two dead after shooting in a crowded <laughs> Toys R Us. fucking <laughs> <laughs> violent, bro, violent, bizarre behavior of accused Toys R Us killer. Wow, okay. Well, let's see. Okay. Ace Hardware? <laughs> okay. Yeah, see, now I'm like, <laughs> now I'm kind of like, I think we should go specific. Yeah, maybe we need to. You know? Yeah. Has there been a shooting in Ace Hardware? Woman shoots Ace Hardware employee Damn! While, while stopping suspect. Damn! <laughs> Twenty-one. This is this, this is an insane this game. game sucks. <laughs> this game's awesome. <laughs> this game's awesome, dude. 
Uh, Woo! All right, all right, all right, all right. Ice rink? Zoomies. Zoomies. Zoomies? A Zoomies? Can you imagine getting... Could you imagine getting shot in a Zoomies? You just go... Oh, <laughs> fuck, dude. Whoa, not chill. Not fucking I'm chill. I'm thinking we might, this might be where it ends. Three shot dead at Columbia Mall. Two employees of Zoomies. Fuck! God damn it. Shit. Jesus Christ, man. What the fuck? A Zoomie shooting? <laughs> Motherfucker <laughs> mad about his bushings or something? Bro. This dude's like, bro, those aren't the fucking skate highs. Oh, dear. Yeah, that's a zoomy shooter. <laughs> yeah, that, that is guy the is, zoomy shooter. Of white culture. That is the zoomy <laughs> shooter. Done with that. That bangs Hot Topic hard. He's like, get the fuck out of here. It's mainland on mine. Yeah, they're bro. lucky they got that guy before he found Trevor Wallace sketches. <laughs> My guy would have been. I've got to get my guy some security, dude. We we got to protect Trevor at all costs. Wow, damn. Okay, I, I dude, I I kind of want to keep playing this game. Well, we have to until we beat it. I was gonna say ice rink. Ice rink. There's been a shooting. I yeah. think I've been in an ice rink shooting. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't know. Like I've definitely been in an ice rink shooting. Suspect in custody. Oh, this year. Wow, yeah, very Oakland. Recent. Uh, this ice one was shooting. East Alton. Yep, there's there. a lot. Yeah. Bronx. Yes, yeah, there's been a lot. Ice of rinks. Those. That's a sh that's, that's a sh that's a shooting spot. It, but it, you ever been a mad in the cold? I'll shoot the fuck out of someone in an ice rink. Dude. Yeah, I think that would be. I might have a good chance to survive because I could. You know, I played hockey. I could stop. Yeah, you know, go back yeah. the other way. Okay. All right. That Zambonis, you're not getting away from that, though. What do you think? Whole you, Foods? Can you imagine that Zamboni just drive by fucking Dude, dumping on full, the crowd? Going full terrorist on him? Yeah, dog. Went full France on him yeah. and Zamboni. But still cleaning the ice? Yeah. Staying cleaning in the it lines? after. Yeah. Cleaning up after it. So Whoa. The first sustainable mass <laughs> murder. <laughs> Self cleaning. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um. All right. All right. Uh, Whole Foods. There's definitely been a Whole Foods shooting. Really? Yeah. I was going to say, like, Build-A-Bear. Okay, we're going to check that, but I'll just verify. I'm going to say Build-A-Bear. Whole Foods shooting. All right. Yep. Whole Foods? Out someone, of someone, slid in a, someone slid in an ad in between the, uh, the news reports, a Google ad for wellness shot. Ah, <laughs> okay. It's a Whole Foods shooting. Let's pay for that yeah, Google ad. A wellness impression. shooting. Okay. Build-A-Bear build a bear. shooting. This I got to win. I hope I hope this I gotta I don't want this one I did I hope this is not true. This would really bum me out. Oh god damn it. Yep, there's been a build a bear. Fuck, yeah. Really? Yep. A build a bear shooting? A family fun day at Build a Bear oh, no. turns into a terrifying moment oh, after no. shooting at Oh no. Um it might have been just next to the Build a Bear. This was March of this year <coughs> at East Town Square. Bullets were flying at the mall. Just yeah, pretty much. They were just at the Build a Bear. That kind of counts, to be honest. Oh, that absolutely counts. Yeah, if, if that that counts. Also, Build a Bear shooting star pink unicorn pony horse. Hmm. Shooting star pink. Nice. Yeah, it's like get rid of the shooting in movies, but it's like no one talks about shooting stars. That's you can't right. Call them dancing stars. That's right. You know why don't we? Yeah, we need to change that word. Like change the lingo a little bit. Hundred percent. You know, don't shoot your shot. Yeah. You know, just fucking stab take, it. Take a stab. Take at a it. stab at it. Yeah. If yeah. I'm, sexual it? stuff is all. Take it. Take a stab at it. Take isn't a stab it? at it. Isn't it? Yeah. Isn't you know, it? Like, take the poke at it. The crazy thing is in in like Japan where it's really hard to get guns. They have they'll obviously it's not as deadly as a mass shooting, but they'll have like guys will just go on a stabbing rampage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Captain yeah. Stabbing. Did you see the Did you see the gun that guy made who assassinated uh, former Prime Minister Shinzo Abe? No. This dude made a homemade gun, and it was elite. Um. Because you can't buy guns there, and so he made this. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, have you ever really had a homemade meal compared to McDonald's? That's true. He it was was made with love. That shit's hearty, bro. Look at this shit, dude. Holy shit, that dude. Okay, that All is right. some Japanese engineering. Right that there, is a dude. homemade gun. Yeah, I didn't. Th I thought because if you look at an American homemade tight. gum, I gotta add this in forty eight. 
if you look at an American homemade gun, yeah, it's like 3D printed, futuristic on some Terminator shit. Yeah, that homemade gun made with love. That that looks like duct tape wrapped around to toilet paper. Yeah, containers. Yeah, and then somehow he homemade got it to as fire. Fuck, but also with that Japanese precision, mm-hmm. it was like it was like a modern day samurai. Sword. Oh, racism. Yes. Well, look, they're proud. They're, look, they're proud of that. Yeah, it's like Colin. You know, but it doesn't American look American a cowboy. Yeah, it doesn't look like Japanese precision, though. I mean, you would think he made it. You would think they would be hefty on the duct tape yeah. for sure. But, you know, put in a few barrels. I don't know. He figured it out. And he killed someone. The former prime minister, Shinzo Abe. Wow. And it wasn't even super politically motivated. Apparently, he was just involved in um, he was involved in some group that like takes money from people and this dude was just pissed that his mom was donating all this money to this group. Cool. Don't fuck with my... Dude, don't fuck with a man's mom when he lives alone in his basement. He will build a gun. Well, yeah, of course, if that's the money that he's supposed to be getting after she dies and she's just QVC shopping to that's some true. fucking... You need another necklace, group. you dumb bitch? Yeah, get the I'll fuck out of here. I'll fuck you up, mom. I, I don't give a fuck about your amethyst. Yeah. <laughs> I'll yeah. kill your plug. I will. I'll I kill will the kill, plug. I will kill the prime minister if you buy another <laughs> necklace, you dumb bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sick of seeing those and fucking... She, and then she didn't believe him, you know, but no. then she probably turned on the news and she was like, no. <laughs> oh, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, you could. No. Why'd you have to do that? I don't. I, I was Why'd trying you to because your teeth make it so much worse. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> like, but it's like actually, if I was, actually, doing, if I was act- in Australia, and I was yeah. like, no, no. But no. like, if you do the eight, like you actually look like <laughs> one of those drawings, bro. And when I focus really hard, I'm not yeah. trying to do an eye I thing. Know. But when I focus, they but do. Go. They are. It is just somehow. Go. Yeah, it's just a do. caricature. <laughs> <laughs> the full anime gets <laughs> out of squid. It's just you push him up. Oh my <laughs> god, dude! Your face could be so racist in certain yeah. moments, you know. Yeah, that's cr- that's a good quality about that you. That one, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 we can't use that. Can't probably. No, we cannot I mean, use I, that. It's not. There's it's not no the fucking r- way we can <laughs> use you doing. I. It's not me doing. Dog. It's, me doing it's you doing. And me laughing at it. <laughs> it's an We're anime. not using that. It's an anime thing. God damn it. It's the you're p- not, thumbnail. Yeah, you're cosplaying. It's the thumbnail. <laughs> it's the- <laughs> I'm trying to be Pikachu. I'm not trying to be the creator of Pikachu. <laughs> I enjoy Pokemon. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Get your ass out of this one, dude. <laughs> Conveniently doing. Oh yeah, it's yeah. true. Yeah, fuck my my yeah. Um, okay, let's let's go back. Hello Kitty. Oh, goodbye Kitty. Hello Kitty. Hello Kitty. Shooting. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, we're gonna go back to something. Did I win? I think you won, except for this. You won, but here's the top. The top thing is Hello Kitty murder case. And they're... Oh, my gosh. The Hello Kitty murder case... Okay, donation season. The Hello Kitty murder case took place in Hong Kong in the spring of 1999 when a nightclub hostess was abducted and tortured in an apartment in Simsha Sui after stealing a wallet owned by one of her frequent customers. Fan Mei Yi was held captive by three men and one girl before dying. Her body was decapitated and her skull placed inside of a Hello Kitty doll. Okay, so you did win, but we all lost. Well, maybe, do does Hello Kitty have like a lot of storefronts? Uh, that's the thing is, I don't think that they do. Yeah, so that's kind of unfair. Yeah. I guess that's unfair. It, it, it needs to be like staples. Yeah. It's like a there's banal... definitely There's definitely been a staples it shooting. It seems like it. Staples has definitely had a shooting. Whoa. Maybe not. Oh, no. Man shot at and injured by passing vehicle near Staples. Oh, what about an Office Max? Man shot. Let me just make There's sure. There's never been anybody killed in a Staples? A l- drive-by shooting near Staples is what I've seen a lot of. <laughs> I think I think Staples is uh 
Hey, they run a tight ship over there. Good for Staples. This episode has been brought to you by Staples. I don't know, dude. Man shot critically wounded outside Staples store on Clinton near street. That's not... That's that's a shooting. Yeah. It's not nothing. It hasn't turned up nothing. All right. Office Depot. Undercover officer shoots suspect in Staples parking lot. The parking lot of the Staples is where it goes down. Oh, my God. Woman shot during hostage standoff at Office Depot. They had a whole hostage situation. Woman identified in deadly shooting at Staples. Yeah, there's been Staples shootings. There's been multiple Staples shootings. I think shootings. my internet is set to slightly more optimistic than yours. I think so, too, dude. Because <laughs> mine was like, yeah, dog. <laughs> Our phones really do know us. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. There's yeah. some shit about life that I just don't want to think about. Yeah, know no, about. no. And so it's, I, yeah. I pacify my brain. No, I get these updates. Yeah. That's crazy, bro. I've unsubscribed to the horrors of the planet. Dude, that's wild, bro. You cannot find a store in America that there like hasn't... Like, that's well... That's, like, out here. I mean, bro, what do like, you mean that's you think out been here? A... Hello Kitty isn't out here. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying, yeah. like, the qualifier is one that's, like, not really out a here. A store in America. Like, if you're, if you're really, like... If you have a ton of store... If you have over X amount of store... If you're store a franchise. Friends, someone's getting If you're a franchise, capped. you're getting... Sh- you're, what about someone's... Cinnabon? Oh, dog, there's been some <laughs> Cinnabon shootings, dude. I, I'm not even going to say Waffle House because that's insane. I, I just, there was, PNB Rock just got yeah. shot at Waffle House. Oh, yeah. And the yep. Cinnabon employees describe mall shooting. Oh, oh. It really gets obscured when a shooter is an item that they have. Yes. Because I'm seeing a lot of Cinnabon. Uh, it looks pretty good. Maybe Cine- this would be an upset for for breaking the chain here. Man shot near Cinnabon. Yeah, we have to use the mark phone. No jail in Cinnabon roll rage case. <laughs> <laughs> Pleaded Dude. no contest to criminal mischief and throwing a missile into an octopus. <laughs> <laughs> That's when you know. Throwing that's when missile. you know your food's unhealthy. Yeah, that's what they call Cinnabon. it. They call it missiles. It's literally a <laughs> weapon of warfare. <laughs> oh uh, my! You got to plead no contest to throwing <laughs> a missile, dude. That was the name of the the item. Officers investigate shooting incident <laughs> at Sun Valley Mall. Oh, that was a mall I grew up at. Oh. Oh my God. Yeah, there's been Cinnabon shootings. Yeah. Yeah, it's se- <laughs> <laughs> it seems like uh, if it's affordable, there's going to be a shooting. Like witnesses reported just after 4 p.m. Sunday that a man had dropped a firearm near the Cinnabon restaurant that picked up the gun. <laughs> so he <laughs> dropped his fucking gun inside Cinnabon and it killed someone. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit, dog! Hey, if you're in America, you're getting shot. Fool. It is what it is, dude. You're I've... getting fucking shot, dog. And it just—it's just how that's. The, but it, there are ways to avoid it. Yeah, you just die of fentanyl. Don't. That's it. Don't. You die of fentanyl, or or you get shot. Don't go where people go. Yeah, but then you die of fentanyl. I think, and we talked about this earlier. You shouldn't be allowed to shoot unless you finish your manifesto and i think a lot of these low rent shootings that person didn't even sit down and do their writing yeah there, there should be like a um like you need to get your 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 manifesto graded yeah and it should be like proof of concept yeah um there should be a couple rewrites yeah tag a good executive producer onto the project yeah. and then start killing people yeah that's you know, i think that's really the wave yep and i think the one thing i learned is most of these places are affordable if you really want to get shot, just get rich and d- don't go. Maybe get an assistant to go to Cinnabon for you. Or or even if concerts, give them a headset. Watch it in the metaverse. Well, let's test that theory and go to oh, Four concerts. Seasons Shooting. <laughs> I think, I, I did. you know what's funny? I literally had already Googled that. Look, this is before you said that. I had started looking, but then we started talking. It looks like they took someone into custody at a Four Seasons. Uh, 
There might have been man a four arrested season. in connection with Four Seasons shooting. Greensboro police investigate shooting at Four Seasons. Man shot in Lakes of the Four Seasons. Lakes of the Four Seasons boy identified in what Corona are calling is a shooting. <laughs> Neiman Marcus shooting. Oh, yep. Man opens fire in the middle of a Neiman Marcus. See, the problem is once you go to fancy places, they are shooting to rob. Yeah. So now so we're no shooting problem. to rob. Yeah, but that's you know. still shooting. It is still a shooting. Yeah. That's unfortunate. Yeah, well, you, yeah. The Mark and Joey Show is an uplifting program that seeks to uh, tell that the future of America is bright. Did you vote today, Mark? Fuck no, I didn't vote. You think I'm going to get shot? <laughs> <laughs> fuck out of here, bro. <laughs> get the fuck out of here, bro. I did. I usually I try to vote, but I'm still registered in my uh, in my parents' neighborhood. I'm like, they don't. My vote. I don't need to fucking figure out the. Uh. Plus, I think actually I've done a public service as a as a straight white male. I recused myself. That's a great. So everyone else's vote counts a little more. That's a great. based on history. I thought I'm gonna take today off. That's fucking phenomenal. Yeah. Can I use that? Yeah. <laughs> Sick. Well, where. Uh, I like in public. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, public Could places. You say on stage. Uh, the well, like, no, that's public. No, you can't do it. on I mean, stage. I already have like the not You're voting. Not doing it. I already had the not voting joke. You All know? right. Well, you need to give me a two week uh, period so I can do it this weekend, and then you can tag it on to your actual joke. I mean, but that that's kind of like already my joke, you know. What I just said. Is what I guess I'm saying you, how this about weekend. this? You can use my joke in addition with your joke this weekend. <laughs> what are you, oh, I take your whole bit that you actually and then, do. And then you could be like, damn, this is perfect. <laughs> and then you can just give it back to me as, okay, as so a complete. Just, okay. <laughs> you can have the test run with the full show. But I am now buying that joke to be a part of my show. I, I honestly don't understand like the the era where people were stealing jokes like trying to fit that joke which is so written in your voice the actual voting joke not the one that i just said into yeah my well that they're both would mine. eat shit no no. i mean no. it would I be mean, fine you, but you could do I it in your feel, voice i would feel yeah it's, yeah you would just redo it. Of a performer yeah it i mean you would you know <laughs> you'd be like come on God. i'm a felon i'm a felon yeah i rape <laughs> 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 Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, are there any places left that we could maybe find where there hasn't been a shooting? We could end on a positive note. Maybe there's... Maybe... uh, Maybe... It's like a fucking no, record store, I'm sure, has happened. We know bars get shot up. <laughs> You know arcades are getting shot up. Yeah. You know parks are getting shot up. Yeah. Schools are getting shot up. That's the worst one. Yeah. Well, I guess not. <laughs> <laughs> Stay safe, folks. We'll, we'll see, see you next, next week. <laughs> oh, that was so close to me.